Thank you very much, guys and girls. We'll do the photo op afterwards as well. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. We just had Calliope here, and you know her? Yes, of course. Yeah, you were very close to each other in uh, Baku. Yes, uh, but I, I met Calliope in, in 2010 yeah. in some festival when, when it was in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So mm -hmm. I really know her for a long time. So, how was your first rehearsal? Well, I would say it can be better, mm -hmm. but but uh, I mean we're in the right direction because everybody wants to do like their best. Uh, I'm so glad that this time I'm working with Sasha Jean Baptiste. Mm -hmm. She's the director of my performance, and she knows exactly what I want, how I feel, and having the team behind me. I mean, I mean the song authors I have to mention. This is Beatrice Robertson and Jonas Thunder. My love to them. Here you go, you can clap. This is their song. They're so happy. I'm so happy also. Yes. And uh, you know, when, when there's a team, uh, everybody knows what to do. So there are a few days to, to fix some things, but, but we're in the right direction. I mean, the colors, the vibe, the, 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 the energy. Yeah. Cool. So, we'll start with some ask, uh, questions from the, from the floor directly, because I know you're eager yeah. to ask. So, if you have any questions. There we go. Stand up, please, and we'll have a microphone in a second. Hi, it's uh, Martijn van der Veen from the Netherlands. Uh, you chose an artist's name because I think people in, uh, outside Lithuania have difficulties uh, pronouncing. But why did you chose for the name Montel? I mean, yes, uh, that, that is the reason why uh, I've changed from Donatas Montes to Donny Montel, because uh, I've been... I've been around the Europe, I mean, uh, many festivals, and that was so difficult to pronounce my name. Uh, I think as an artist, I choose Donny Montel because it's more easy to spell it. But um, why Donny Montel? Because I think like Donatas, Montedas, Donny, Montel, it's, it's some similar beginnings. Uh, and there's a, some secret reason why I did Montel, but I can tell you guys. It's just like, yeah, I, you know? If I win your vision, I'll tell you. <laughs> you were mentioning your songwriters, and how did this collaboration start and the, the song? Yeah, uh, I, I, I mean, your vision 2012 is Azerbaijan Baku, that, that, that was the reason because uh, after that, uh, some company in Stockholm uh, was, was having some party, and the, the concept of the party was your vision contest, contestants. And uh, one of them, they invited me to sing Love is Blind. So, there was some television producers, I mean, we just were chatting, like talking about the songwriters, I mean, the producers in Sweden, because they're one of the greatest, in my opinion, and everybody knows that. And um, that woman told me about the Beatrice and Jonas, and that's what, how I, I met them. We talked a bit, we're talking, because, you know, when I finished in 2012 the Eurovision, that was after the week I, I, I told to myself that it's a question of time when I'm coming back to a vision. I always knew that I'm coming back. Because the 14th place, I think it's a good place, it's not bad, but for me, I know that I want to aim more. So, I don't know, it's a karma thing or something, but I met Jonas and Beatrice, and that's how after maybe a four or five songs we like picked the one I've been waiting for this night. So you had about four or five songs to yes. choose from? There wasn't only I've been waiting for this night. No. You know, the shivers was that reason why we picked I've been waiting for this night. So now you have four or five songs for your album. <laughs> yes, I, we could say. If you can make a deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no, it's a good thing because there's a lot of press because three weeks ago I released my album. Yeah. I mean, it's the fourth or fifth album and there's a, half of the songs is uh, Jonas and Beatrice also. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, a, it's it's amazing collaboration. I mean, all the production I did in Sweden, so, yeah. I must ask you, because I'm a big basketball fan myself, originally from Serbia. Yes. So, and I know we have some games, Lithuania and Serbia. So, who, for you, is the best basketball player in the world? From it, Europe? From Europe? 
Ah, but but it, 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 it shouldn't be from Lithuania, or it could be. It could be. Okay. Then I would say Ivan the Sabonis. Sabonis, of course. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> no, I mean... Really good. Good ambassador for basketball. Yeah, I, I, I know Ivan this. Uh, and I, of course, being as an artist in Lithuania for 10 years, it helps me like to know a lot of people. And he's yeah. amazing as a, as a persona. I mean, he's, a, he's an individual, charismatic man. Like. And you know, I finished basketball school also. Wow. Parallel, I was like uh, uh, in a music academy in Lithuania for 10 years. And parallel, I was playing basketball. I have a diploma of basketball. But as you see... Point card. Nah, I, well, yes, but I was who was um, the, 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 the first part. I mean, who was like telling you, oh, let's do this and this. Yeah, the point guard. Yeah, the yeah. point guard, yeah. But, you know, I'm saying it. But still, I'm playing basketball. Great sport. Please. Yeah, stand up and have a microphone. Hi, Donny. Alistair Birch from Australian Radio. Um, you studied not just singing, you also studied dance. Were you tempted by a, a career purely in dance? And uh, how has that helped you now at Eurovision? Yeah, you know, I think music for me, like year after year, uh, because of the experience being in the tours and so on, I mean, it's only the form of what I'm doing. I mean, the character, my values, uh, I, I give people through the music. So, I mean, it's the same with the moves. Because I was dancing parallel with the singing. And you know, it's all about, I mean, the, the impulse through your, through, your, through your head to your muscles. I mean, so the, I always dance in my two. I have my team of dancers, I mean, 10 up to 12, and it's an important thing because I think I'm, I'm a performer. You know, some would say that, okay, I'm a singer, I'm a vocalist, yes, but I'm a performer, I like the stage, I, I like entertaining people. And that vibe of dancing, because I, I was learning the jazz uh, dance, I mean, the classical, I mean, the, the, the hip-hop, R&B dancing. So, it's very similar because it's all about the music, the impulse, the groove that you feel through the music. You know, and, and moves helps to express that. So, you know, yeah. Cool. Yes, please stand up. You'll have a microphone. Hello, Donny. Jamie from Radio International. 2012, Love is Blind. 2016, it's I've been waiting for this night. Which of those two songs is actually your personal favorite? I mean, I've changed a lot. Uh, if. if, if... <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I hear you. Did you have to think I about that? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, no, I've changed a lot, and 2012 represents me at, 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 at that period of time. I, I, I was young, you know, that the, 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 the tuxedo and something, and just like the, the big eyes, oh my god, the arena, and I really have changed. But if, if Love is Blind, at this point I could say that if Love is Blind it was more Slavian, I mean, how to say, it has more like a, a melody and, and other things. So I would say that I've been waiting for this night, it's more like West song. I mean, it's, it's all about maybe Sweden, even I would say America. So for me, I want to choose that, 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 that side, you know, and, and uh, I don't know. I think the quality is much better because they are like professionals. And yeah, in 2012, I, I didn't know those guys who could do that production. So definitely in, in other level. Another step in another direction. Yeah. Yes, please. Hi, Donny. Fernando with Radio International. Uh, well, the title of the song you're singing these years, I've been waiting for this night. I know that that has its lyrics, it has its story, but uh, what does the night you are waiting for look like, actually, really? It's a very short answer. When I, you know, when they wrote the song and I listened and, and the title was I've been waiting for this night and it was written for Eurovision, so it's read normally. I just close my eyes and I, I imagine that, that winning the Eurovision, like you're standing on the stage, there's a, like votes. So that moment, a special moment, because from, uh, if you see f through the 30 or 40 years, it's one of the like period of time, I mean Eurovision, 2012, 16, 20, I mean, but at that moment, this is, it's all about that moment, that joy, that happiness, you know, so I've been waiting for this night, this is my moment in Eurovision of winning. And, you know, winning, it's not about being in the first place. I'm not saying that I have to be in the first place. I want to win for myself. I want to be proud. I want to be my nation proud. My people, my country be proud of myself. So, 
So this is the most important thing. We, we came with all team, we did a lot of hard work and you know, I'm waiting for this night, even though I'm waiting for that performance, because you're working for half a year, I mean, so you've been waiting for that, coming here and like enjoying this moment with you guys, I mean, standing on a stage to perform, to show how I changed through like those four years. So this is, this is my night, this is my, this is my moment, yeah. Thank you. The back there from Norway. Hello, Morten from the Eurovision blog in Norway. Like the moderator said, you share the stage in Baku with Kaliupi. She came 13th with 70 points and you came 14th with one point less. So how are you going to beat her this year? <laughs> with the salto, I think. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm not thinking how to beat her. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about the music, about the passion. And, you know, if we... If we want a joke, so yes, we can like think about the salto or some other things because I think we're different concept artists, yeah. but it's not about that. I mean, we wish all the best to each other. You know, I want to focus on my performance. I want to do, uh, as I'm saying, I want to be the best version at this point that I can be. This is my aim. This is my goal. And you know, she, she's a good artist. She's singing good. But I'm not trying to be um, like, like her and she's not trying to be as me, so. I just wish I had the best, but I'm doing what I have to do. She said the same thing about you. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's, bec that's because we know each other for seven years. Exactly. More questions? <laughs> Nobody asked me to do the salto? Okay. Do you want him to do the salto? Your fault. Are you going to do the salto? No. <laughs> of course they uh, Well, there's no, no trend. No, no. But we'll, I, we'll, I, we'll wait I, for the final. Yes. Semi-finals. Okay. Oh, the finals. Oh. No, no. Finals. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> good, good. So, but how has your preparations been? You have a choreographer from Sweden. Uh, yes, have I... you been here rehearsing or...? Yes. The last month I've been visiting Stockholm uh, for three, I think, times. Mm -hmm. We had some like special like, dance studio. We've been preparing some like moves. Mm -hmm. Then we had some special place where there's monitoring in-air system. Uh, I mean, the microphone, all the trap. So we just made... A as possible close the conditions uh, to the conditions that we have tonight so yes I've been here I've been preparing a lot you know the gymnastic uh, place so it's a, it's a hard work but I, I, I mean we are really, really ready do you feel at home in Stockholm well you know yes yes I know Stockholm cool. I really know Stockholm I know where to eat very well <laughs> in good places yeah perfect any more questions from the floor one more, please. Hello, William. You have a microphone, William. You, oh, okay. Hi, William, Baltic Times, Riga. If you win, or should I say when you win, the Eurovision Song Contest, how will it affect other artists in Lithuania, in your country? How will it stimulate the music industry in your country? I don't want to say that... My people in Lithuania don't believe in winning Eurovision. I'm not saying that, but year after year we're losing that faith. I mean, and that winning will be more than Eurovision. I would say it's something with the, when you win basketball, the gold medal, everybody's like unites as one. And in Lithuania I would say basketball is the only thing that unites in our country all the people. I mean, Eurovision would, would unite everything, everybody in Lithuania, so it means a lot. I mean, the young people, it inspires to achieve something. Because, okay, Lithuania, we are a small country, and like seeing like all the biggest artists worldwide, I mean, we want to achieve as much as they do. So, I mean, winning Eurovision, that would be that good. Okay, we can do that. We're, we're small, but okay, let's believe in ourselves. So, I, I mean, it's more than Eurovision. And I really, my motivation to win is not about my own realization. Because year after year, when there's many fans in Lithuania of mine, I'm saying that I have to dedicate to somebody because it's, it's egoistic to do everything for yourself. And I'm dedicating to them and winning your vision also. It would be dedicated to, the, to them, to those people who really believe in me, and especially who don't believe in me. So. Maybe yes. it's difficult to remember, but that region had the share of wins in the early 20s. Uh, so it meant a lot for the re region. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's, that's Last that. question from the floor. Yep. At the back there. 
Hi, uh, Michael from Eurovisionary.com. I covered the Lithuanian final, the 10 weeks that the show was on, so we got to know all the songs. What did you think of your competition in the last week when the other five songs were pretty good as well? Did you think you were going to win? Uh, I, I want you to explain the question. Uh, do you mean the songs in this year? The other five songs in the final? The, uh, the other five songs in the Lithuanian final. Ah, you mean Lithuanian selections? How did you feel okay. about the, the other contestants? I mean, this year was one of the strongest year. I'll be, I'll be honest, it's, it's one of the strongest year because the songs were written really not, but... <laughs> I want to say one thing, but I'm not saying that. But uh, the songs were really good. I mean, the artist is one of the popular, the most popular in Lithuania, the top five. So the competition was really close. I mean, till the super finals, there was the two. I mean, the, the one uh, girl, Erika, and me. And we, like, uh, till the last minute, we didn't know who, who's gonna win. But, but it, well, you're competing, of course, but at the end of the day, you're happy because our level of quality, I mean, is, is going up every year. And this year was. I think one of the hardest. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Danny. Thank now you so we'll much, have guys. A photo up over here. You see the running, so you know the direction. Yes. Thank you so much. For thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck.